Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Um, we actually got some questions about how we do work. As you know, or you may not know, Miles is a voice actor and voice talent. And I am a singer, songwriter, um, photographer, and writer. And Miles is a writer too. What else are you, baby? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, well he does other things too, but his main focus is voice acting. So when we're in the RV, people will ask us, well, how are you going to record music in there? How are you going to be recording, um, you know, books um, for Miles' case? I'm doing audiobooks and things like that. How are you taking pictures, editing pictures, whatever? How are you working in this small space? Because this is like very small space, yeah. right? So um, one of the main things and the main focuses, the main goals is to, I think I think I've said this before, to, that everything has multiple um, purposes that we have um, and we honestly just have to make use of the space like a good game of Tetris I guess mm -hmm. <laughs> to try to figure out where to, where to fit in and where to work right. so this is where I usually do most of my music work it's right here right here and um, we took the mic stand out um, just so you get the idea it's not gonna be the whole setup um, but if you want to see the whole setup you can go to my page <laughs> uh, Whatever, but it, I just showed how to like how I break it down, how I set it up. Mm -hmm. um, essentially, this is a chair that folds up, so we tuck this chair behind the yeah, it's a desk. folding stool. Yeah, it's a folding stool, so it has a little button on the side. Last time I did this, I couldn't do it. Okay, here we go. It has this button, and you can fold it mm -hmm. flat. We just stick it behind there. <laughs> For the mic stand, we just break it down and put it up top, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much all it requires. Everything that we used to make music is generally like right here. Mm -hmm. So the mic, uh, the what do you call it? The audio interface. Audio interface. Thanks, Miles. He's the one that's. Mm -hmm. I just use it. He knows the names and the stuff. But yeah, so um, the audio interface, the speakers, the monitors, the monitors and the screen, computer. It's all like right here in one area, and it's connected to the solar. I'm sorry, to the inverter, which is connected to the solar power. Mm -hmm. So. So I don't really need to move it. Um, this is just the best place to keep it because it's right next to all the batteries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, the mic stand is usually connected to a mic, or a mic is connected to the mic stand. And it's just like, I sing right here. I sing right here, stand up mostly. Sometimes I sit down. I can adjust the height. Stand up, record the music, edit here. Um, if I wanna add music to it, add it right there. Um, that's pretty much it. Most of my music is very vocal, heavy, so mm -hmm. I don't really need a huge setup. Yeah. Here, um, my computer's here. That's Miles and me on our wedding day. I don't know if you can see this. But um, usually, it's either I'm here or Miles is here or we're both here. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, just to give you all an idea, this is our computer working space. Mm -hmm. Flat surface, we can keep our feet flat on the floor if we want. I usually don't. I usually have my feet on Miles mm -hmm. <laughs> while we're there. Again, because the, the space is uh, small. Sorry if I'm sounding nasally, guys. I don't know what's going on up here. But anyway. Yeah, so this is the setup for editing pictures, writing, editing audio, in Miles' case. Yeah, we don't really need that much space. But for the actual recording music, I need this. Miles just kind of needs this. Camera I just carry everywhere. You don't really need or whatever. I have equipment if I want to do some studio style shoots. I haven't really done that yet. Again, it's been really, really hot and um, just haven't just has not been ideal to do it mm. but later on i hope to do it and maybe be able to show you guys how i do that i can use the awning um yeah and i'll show you that later but yeah so editing stuff here so then we have miles oh, yeah. oh, so here. when whenever fox is working on her music or something like that or she's huge fully utilizing the kitchen table here or whatever i go back to the bedroom to work in my little cubby. You literally is a cubby. It's a cubby. And so for me, I do my best to accommodate my wife. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, um, but so we use this space right here. I just put the laptop and I just have this folding chair. And I'll sit there. And I can do that. Like right now, I'm editing audio for audiobook. And then whenever I edit videos for, for our channel. Um, I can come back here and work on stuff and sometimes when Fox is recording if she's working on music or like she does podcasts too and vlogs oh, yeah. and stuff like that sure. I'll come back here I'll close the curtain so this is 
what you <laughs> fold up the chair so you have more space. That's yeah. funny. That was smart. Right. So <laughs> if she's out here working on stuff, what? What? What I'll do is for her comfort. Again. Yeah, I don't. It's weird. I don't want him to hear me. Yeah, like she's <laughs> super shy about her stuff. Yeah. Um, but what I'll do is I'll open the bathroom door. Separates, and I'll close this curtain. So it helps. Yeah. So even if he can hear me in my mind, I'm like, yeah, there's, there's a some, yeah, there's <laughs> some kind of separation. So I'll sit back here, and it will work. Yeah. Go right. Yeah, and I can set up. Uh, a microphone and stuff to yeah. to record, and I've done that before. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just editing stuff, so I just need the laptop and a place to sit. So where do you record your? Um, I record audio. I can record in a variety of places. Yeah. I can record back here. I can record in the kitchenette or the table area. Yeah. Um, and I've also mm -hmm. recorded in our car. Yeah. Um, because I needed to um, yeah. for a client, quick turnaround kind of thing. Um, needed reception so it was in the car yeah took the car set up everything had the equipment or whatever and just recorded yeah and then other times if foxes record music in here and i, I need to record yeah we can't be in the same area recording yeah so i'll go out and in the car and record yeah and it's usually been hot yeah so i got there i would record for like 15 minutes <laughs> and then get out wipe all the sweat off and then get back to it yeah one thing I want to say though um, about working in oh thank you about working in close quarters is um, understanding that RV walls are thin, super so thin. super thin. So not only can you hear the people like literally five feet away from you, yeah. but you can hear everything outside. Yeah. So when we're trying to record audio, like in some of the more I guess like uh, populous places, yeah. We could hear people laughing or talking or dogs yeah. barking yeah. or um, cars going by, trains yeah. in some cases, yeah. depending on where we are. Yeah. Animals. You don't think yeah. about that. But, yeah. like, we were staying somewhere and, like, the the fr bullfrogs, like, had this weird, like, yeah. sound. Yeah. There's, like, a lot thinking. of noise. Yeah. Or, like, birds. Yeah. And, of course, you know, you can't go tell animals. Shut up. Yeah. yeah. You can't I'm do that. to record. So you kind of just have to wait yeah. them out. You have to wait it out. You have to pick ideal times. Like for me, for music, it seems to be in the morning. Mm -hmm. In the morning, I haven't really tried evening really because mm -hmm. people are still active, but early yeah. in the morning, nobody's really awake and or people are like going out walking or something, yeah. like away from their RVs. Yeah. Midday is a nightmare. Yeah. Like. Yeah, it's usually like the worst. Yeah. Yeah, depending and, on where you are. Yeah, and also in the morning, it's usually cooler yeah. and midday it's hot. Yeah. So then trying to record you know, comfortably yeah. and not burn up is like, is a task. Yeah. So those are things you have to consider. Yeah. Um, what kind of work you need to do. And again, we, we put treatments in the, in the room to help record, yeah. but some stuff you, you're still going to hear. Yeah. You know? It's still not like our, our RV isn't designed to necessarily be like a studio. Right. I'm sure it's there. It's doable. Yeah. Like yeah. You could, it just requires. Yeah. You yeah. could change everything and put up a lot of acoustic treatment, mm -hmm. acoustic treatment and stuff mm -hmm. like that and set it up to be a studio on wheel as well. Yeah. We don't have the time and or the money to do that. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're working with what we got. And I mean, it's, yeah. I think it's working. Yeah. It's working. So, but maybe in the future, if we have more to invest, yeah. that's what we would do. It's like, oh, okay, we're going to get an RV. We got to insulate it more. Insulate it more or yeah. even just dedicate, you know, specific spaces for yeah. like recording or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah and um and i think that's that's pretty much it like that's um sorry <laughs> with our with our um stuff that we're making like their sound also trying to find ways to work around it right mm -hmm. so like with the music stuff i'm trying to put out more music mm -hmm. um and one of the things that was stopping me was like oh you know well i got recorded this time and i have to do it. but now i'm just gonna work with nature so mm -hmm. sometimes i'm gonna be doing something called nature sessions where i actually just go out into the nature and record a cover mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. which i've done already in west virginia we were in west mm -hmm. virginia we did that just working with the nature like okay it's not it's not um an inconvenience it could be mm -hmm. but you could also try to work with it yeah. now with miles's voice acting stuff it's not bad. i can't it's do not that. like that no yeah. like unless he's he's written a story himself or something yeah. and or it's like for practice or something right like that. i can't my clients won't right they want the studio sounding yeah, like you, want, you need it to be as clean as possible exactly so yeah so that's pretty much how we get our work done 
Is there anything else we should share? Um, I think also with that, mm -hmm. we have to take into consideration like the internet. Yeah. So that's a big yeah. Um, a lot of times we might work on stuff here, like editing and things, and then have to go somewhere like mm -hmm. a Starbucks or a coffee shop or whatever yeah. to find decent Wi-Fi to be able to upload things, which can kind of put a delay on it. Yeah. So like for me, if I'm auditioning and looking for work, I need the internet because yeah. I have to go on certain sites to find things. And so we have a hotspot on Fox's phone and um, that helps from time to time, but yeah. it's definitely more convenient. Like if you can go to a coffee shop yeah. or if we're at some, some RV parks have internet yeah. uh, and they include Wi-Fi and stuff like that. It can be very helpful, but that, I would say that's like the other thing um, yeah. in regards to working, having yeah. the internet. So like we spend, we spend like a few days, like right now we're batching videos, right? Mm -hmm. So that since we, we just have it ready to go, then we edited all this stuff, having the process, editing it, and then going to the coffee shop and uploading it. Mm -hmm. So you're not there all day editing and uploading. Yeah. So doing the things that you can with what you have, mm -hmm. and then when you need to go to the internet, do that. And I, I don't know if everybody's job is like that, for most freelancers, it's okay like that. Usually if you're working on projects, you know, unless you need the internet for the projects. But like, I know for some people, like they have to be connected to the internet all the time. Like my yeah. mom for her job has to be connected to the internet yeah. for her to Excuse do, to, to carry out her job. Her yeah. duties. It's not like she can do something and then come back to it. Yeah. Um, so that's something you should think about if you're trying to work on the road, mm -hmm. um, if you're trying to make money, because depending on what you need, I mean, depending on what your job is, determines what you need in terms of like hotspot. So yeah. my hotspot comes with my unlimited AT and T plan. Yeah. Um, but that's only 15 gigs of internet, mm -hmm. and that can go by fast depending on what you're doing. Yeah. So if you're uploading a lot, that's using a lot of um, a lot of the data. 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 Yeah. yeah. And so they have bigger packages and mm -hmm. um, more hefty packages, mm -hmm. um, but they're also more expensive. Yeah. So we've done our research because we were trying to figure out what we need and stuff like that, but. Yeah. Because we're just uploading and stuff, and we could do a lot of the stuff that we're doing offline, yeah. we don't really need like a super yeah. big yeah. hotspot. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's how we work. That's how we work. Yeah. Um, is that it? I think that's it. All right. So, until next time, guys. Until next time. See ya.